Last Dragon. <laughs> what? This card's insane. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is this, bro? Yo, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Metal type Pokemon are known for their tough defenses and can be difficult to take down in battle, which is especially true in the new Gym Leader Challenge format. If you're new to Gym Leader Challenge, don't worry. It's super easy to get into, a lot of fun. The decks are cheap, and you can play it all on the Pokemon trading card game online. There's just three rules to keep in mind when you're building a Gym Leader Challenge deck. First and foremost, you can't play any Pokemon with a rule box. No Prism Stars, no Pokemon V, GX, EX, or anything like that. That. You can only play one type of Pokemon in your deck, so your deck has to be monotype. You can pick your favorite type, fire, water, grass, metal, whichever you want, and you can only play one of each card except basic energy in your deck, and the results are amazing. We've had a ton of fun playing this format so far on stream. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. If you've got any more questions about Gym Leader Challenge format, make sure to check out gymleaderchallenge.com where we've got all the rules spelled out, frequently asked questions answered, and blog posts written by members of the Tricky Gym community posted to share information about Gym Leader Challenge. Also, make sure to join the Tricky Gym Discord. The link is in the description below. Now let's check out that awesome metal deck. Big shout out to Twitch users Mass Dave and VS Seeker who inspired this awesome metal type deck. The goal of this deck is to set up an iron defense with Aegislash and its big shield ability, which reads all of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from opponent's attacks. And something that I love about Gym Leader Challenge format is that an ability like Big Shield can have a big impact on the outcome of the match. Pokemon like this don't really see play in standard or expanded format, but Big Shield is very good in Gym Leader Challenge format, effectively boosting all of your Pokemon's hit points by 30. And some of these metal Pokemon are really big, like Agron and Caparaja. We also play Galarian Berserker, whose Steely Spirit ability makes your Metal-type Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So there's some serious buffs in this Metal-type deck, and your defenses can be boosted even further with some great tool cards like Metal Frying Pan, which makes your Metal-type Pokemon take 30 less damage and turns off its weakness, which is great since Fire decks can be tough for Metal decks traditionally, but we've got a lot of ways to play around that weakness with the Coating Metal Energy as well. And we also got Altar of the Sun, three ways to turn off your Metal-type Pokemon's weaknesses in this deck. We also got Metal Goggles, which makes the Metal-type Pokemon it's attached to take 30 less damage from attacks, and your opponent's abilities and attacks can't place damage counters on it. And Metal Core Barrier from Unbroken Bonds. It only gets attached for a single turn, but it makes the Metal Pokemon it's attached to take 70 less damage from opponent's attacks. These buffs can make a huge difference in the game, buffing the HP and defenses of your already enormous Pokemon. I mean, Aggron, for instance, has 180 base hit points, and its guard press attack makes it take 30 less damage from the opponent's attacks during your next turn. And then Seismic Rift does a massive 240 damage, with the drawback being that you do have to do 30 damage to all of your own Pokemon. Caparaja is your other massive attacker, 190 hit points, and its muscular nose attack does 220 damage for just three metal energy but there is a drawback if this pokemon has eight or more damage counters on it this attack does nothing so dig drain is a great attack to use if your caparaja has too much damage on it heals 30 damage from this pokemon and does 60 damage caparaja and Agron are two heavy hitters in this metal type deck but we do have a lower maintenance pokemon that can really get out of the gates quickly Kartana from Celestial Storm with the Divine Paper attack for two metal energy. It does 40 damage plus 90 more damage 
if your opponent has exactly six prize cards remaining. So 130 damage for just two energy at the beginning of the game, which is one of the most valuable times for Kartana to be attacking since a lot of decks take a couple of turns in order to get set up. Kartana can start taking prizes early while you build up your big, beefy Pokemon like Agaron and Kaparaja on the bench. And in order to charge up Kaparaja and Agron, Bronzong is here with the Metal Link's ability, which allows you to attach a Metal Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon once during your turn. This deck really is a ton of fun to play. It was my first day playing it on stream today, and I really enjoyed my time with it. I definitely recommend trying out Metal Pokemon in the new Gym Leader Challenge format. Check out the gameplay ahead, and let me know what you think of Metal in Gym Leader Challenge format in the comments below. All right, we're setting up against a dragon deck. Dragon is a bold choice, especially before Evolving Skies comes out. Evolving Skies is going to be getting a lot more dragon Pokemon added to the Gym Leader Challenge card pool. Evolving Skies dropping as a supplemental GLC set. I went and I looked through all of the ancient trait Pokemon again. Because I was like, you know, it would be cool to, like, have some of them in the format. But really, the thing is, is that the ancient trait Pokemon are, like, not that good. They're they're not. Like, most of them are pretty bad. But then, like, Water gets, like, the best, too. Water gets Swampert and Articuno. And they're the two best ancient... And Colorless, right? It's like, so does Colorless need more control cards? In Gym Leader Challenge format? No. No, it doesn't. Yeah. So Colorless doesn't need more control cards. And Water doesn't need more heavy hammers, right? So we just leave them out. It's just not really worth it. I looked at it again, though. I did look at it to make sure that I still agree with the decision. Because water is, like, already very good. So water just, like, you don't want to be getting articuno early by a water deck for two prizes. And then the problem with water is that you can just, like, bring that Articuno back. Yeah, Articuno is way too cracked. I agree. Articuno is, like, I mean, that card was so good it saw play in every Rain Dance deck that it was, you know, in the same format as, right? That's in standard format when, like, the Pokemon are three times the size. So, yeah. Articuno is way too good. The reason for the black and white cutoff instead of Heart Gold, Soul, Silver is because abilities and Pokey powers and Pokey bodies have very weird interactions. Like, Garbodor's Garbotoxin ability doesn't stop Pokey powers or Pokey bodies, which is, like, not really in the spirit of the game of what. You know, so we want everything to be centralized. Also, Item Finder says, not Item Finder, uh, Junk Arm says that it gets back trainers from the discard pile, but what it really means is items, but items didn't exist back then. It's just really, it's really not worth it. All right, so we're going to Verse Seeker for Erica and try again. Yeah, it's just not worth having those cards in the format. Okay. Maybe my Cartana will get there someday. Let's go get the Eva. Cool. We're going to get this guy out. We got a Scape, Air Balloon. Cool. Those are our options to get this thing out of the active position. Here goes Berserker. Slap the Jirachi down. Pass. Right. Well, the thing is, is that, yeah, the unlimited formats were never really existed. Were never really intended to exist. Um, but like everything from black and white on is standardized. They like decided with the black and white sets, like we're just going to do everything this one way and we're going to keep it that way for better or for worse. And so that's why the black and white era is like the modern era of the Pokemon TCG and everything jives. The abilities all, you know, for the most part, they all interact fine together and everything. So, for ease of play, 
it makes way more sense to cut off at uh, black and white instead of going all the way back to Heart Gold Soul Silver. Also, some of those cards from Heart Gold Soul Silver were like too strong. Um, yeah, some of them were very very good. Ooh, the goose. All right. Actually, gonna take this opportunity. Because I don't think you have a switch. So I'm going to do this. And then next turn, I'm going to research or Juniper or whatever. Celebi Prime. I mean, does Grass need Celebi Prime? No. I mean, it wouldn't even play Celebi Prime. But yes, that card is very good. Toshimo says, imagine a game where Pokemon attacked. Oh, we're getting there. This is just the setup phase, Toshima. Yeah, this is the this is the setup phase of the game. It's like chess. What do you do in the first couple f turns of chess? Huh? What do you do in the first couple first couple turns of chess? You move a pawn, I move a pawn, okay? I do the It's the opening plays, right? Set up a scholar's mate. <laughs> Blitz the king. <laughs> All right, so we've got gusted again. Gustald, that's fine. I'm going to rip my escape rope right here. Nope. I've got Tate and Liza for next turn, though. So if you don't knock out my Aegis Lash, you're down. What does Dragon Dance do? Phew. <laughs> Dragon, what? This card's insane. <laughs> what in the world is this, bro? Dragon Dance. Oh, this is this Haxorus. <laughs> This hacker is about to be doing 230 damage. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. What in the world have I just walked into? Oh my gosh, dude. I'm in danger. Okay. Larry. Here's to hoping I find an escape rope. Oh, you're you're livid. <laughs> Get this thing. Go, go to the, go to the bench, bro. <laughs> Get, Get out of here, bro. Get out. Get out of here, Axorus. Yeah. Nobody wants you here, bro. Not like this. Yes. All right, next. Dramp Drampa. Okay, we got frying pan. I'm not going to play it down yet. Well, yeah, I'll put it there. Put her there, pal. Okay, divine paper. Take the knockouts. Let's go, Cartana. Let's go. The unfortunate thing is that Haxorus only needs to do 60 dam damage to knock out my little paper fella. Dude, the Haxorus is scary, though. If you don't have the Gust, this thing's coming in for 230 damage for just one energy. Oh, no, the Hex Maniac. I can't even Dreamy Rev. Sad. Okay. The Hex Maniac actually allowed them to take the knockout because Big Shield was going to stop it. So we're going to go up with Caparaja. We've got this. Let's see what Gladian's got for us. 
teammates. Okay. Kind of Ultra Ball away the Duraludon and Metal Energy. I don't actually think that you like need these basic guys. I think you can pretty much just go with your huge dudes. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So we don't actually I get sure I guess I'm getting a couple back now. Have to. I'm committed. Leave one in the discard pile. Dig drain? For only 60 damage, not 80, because of the Hex Maniac. Duraludon can accelerate. I guess I'm just not into it. I think like almost all of these basic guys could go. Cabalion, except for Cartana. That's the only one you need. These guys are like, okay, I guess. But I feel like in in the defensive version of this deck, I feel like you're just, I don't want to put energy on a guy unless he's got like a million hit points, right? And is like never going to get knocked out in this particular build of the deck without Magnazone. Now with Magnazone, you can power these guys up pretty quick. But I think in this particular build, I just want to set up like Kaparaja and Larry and have them never get knocked out. All right, another Dragon Dance. Ah, yes. This is why we play Tate and Liza. That's why we do it, chat. Give him the muscular nose. 220 damage. Kaparaja is taking 60 less damage from attacks. I could have attached a shield energy. It would have been taken 70 less damage from attacks had I done that. Another boss's order is please stop. <laughs> I don't. Listen, he doesn't have any energy on him. Leave him alone. He's a he's a big boy. Can't retreat. Okay. Hmm. The rainbow energy, nice. Activating the uh, raging blade on that for 120 damage. Oh, the float stone is priced. You're right. Beautiful. I forgot. Yeah, the float stones, the floater's totally in there. Oh, but can't retreat. Yeah. So actually I am I am stuck. Cause I'm gonna get I don't know, maybe my opponent just goes for the They might go straight for the Raging Blade. Yeah, they went for the Raging Blade. Not the Rumble, because Rumble would have done actually zero damage. Evo Soda. That's what I'm talking about. Bronzong, Gladion, get the floater, Viridian away, a metal energy, altar of the sun, floater, metal links, and Kaparaja coming in for another 220 damage. Let's go. 240. Krusty Krab unfair. Kaparaja is in there. Who can stop this elephant? He's so beefy. My goodness. And what's fun is that this is like how a metal deck should feel, right? That my Pokemon, like, I, I work hard to build up these tanks. And then, you know, they don't go down very easily. But it takes a while to get them set up. All right, Devoured Field. So dragons do 10 more. Dragon Call. But we bird keepered this turn. Can't didn't Cynthia. 
which feels bad. Cynthia, Royal Blades would have done 200 damage, which still would have been short. This Caparage is basically invincible. Basically invincible at this point. He's huge. I mean, these tools are absurd. The Aegislash is absurd. <laughs> Minus 60 damage? Yeah, it's so nuts, right? You basically are just trying to set up this this Caparaja or the Agron, like one of those two, right? That's like your strategy. You're setting up one of these copycat. I don't want to deck out. I don't want to wait. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, don't let me don't let me deck out, bro. <laughs> don't. Close. Okay. Muscular schnoz. Dang, bro. 240 hip <laughs> damage. Oh, I get the Gladian again. Age of Slash with the memory. True. It's true. You can attack with a uh, tool, tool drop. There's an Alolan Dug Trio. Is it increases uh, damage by ten or something, or it increases uh, decreases damage taken by ten? I don't know. It's another bench spot though. I feel like I you already need space for the Aegislash. Slash. It's like more damage reduction at this point. Yeah, I agree, Brady. How do, how is Garchomp so speedy that it has free retreat? Not just this one. There's a fighting Garchomp that also has free retreat. He's a shark. Well, I don't know. Are sharks fast? Have we used Jirachi once? That's what I'm saying. The Jirachi can get cut. I don't think we need it. I think we just accept that Metal doesn't have any good draw Pokemon. I don't know. We kind of want it. Okay, I think that you, you keep the Jirachi here for N. For N in Reset Stamp. You're really not trying to get, like, two cards is better than none. Getting to look at two cards is better than getting to look at zero off of N or Reset Stamp. And this deck has the potential to get end and reset stamped very hard. So I think that, that that is fair. If there's any reason to keep it. I think that that makes sense. Uh-oh, the air balloon. Still taking the field blower. Still taking third. Oh, but the muscle band. Is this the 220 damage knockout with Garchomp? Here it is, dude. Is this it? I'd be down to play like uh, a U-turn board in the deck just for Jirachi. Like one float stone, one U-turn board, so the U-turn board just like keeps going back. With Team Up Jirachi, you pretty much have to play a skateboard. Dang, dude, the Royal Blades for 200. Let's go. <laughs> dude, they did it. You did it! Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. Congratulations! Okay. Not you. All y'all back into the deck. Check out this gnarly play. Teammates. Boom, get these fellas right here. These fellas right here. Insano value. Caparaja coming right back at you. Metallic links. Dang, bruh. All right, here comes Agron. 
This attack also does 30 damage to each of your Pokemon. But it does nothing, right? With the Aegislash in play? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> All right, Aegislash only stops. That would have been dope, though. Aegislash only stops your opponent's attacks. That would have been gnarly, though. I would have been super into that. God, Agron taking 60 less damage from attacks. What's hilarious is if my if my opponent, GG's, Fino, if you just had Gust that turn, you could have Gusted and decked me out with Rumble. You could have Gusted up Galarian Berserker, and I would have lost. Isn't that sick? Yeah. They literally could have just won that game. If they just had, if they had boss. Copperaja and Kartana really make for a pretty gnarly combo in Gym Leader Challenge format. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. If you've got extra cards lying around your house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or a new booster box, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop and selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. Y'all have a great day. Peace.